Hey there, Droya here, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Simbrief for your flight simulator. What Simbrief is, is a tool that creates true-to-life flight plans and navigation graphs based on real-world specifications for any flight simulator that supports aircraft with active FMS, so FSX, P3D, X-Plane 11, and the all-new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Any aircraft that has active waypoints or current up to air act cycles, you can use this tool to plan your flights, plan your fuel amounts, plan your approaches, landings, all that kind of stuff. And so the purpose of today's tutorial is to show you how to use it. And then following, I'll do a series of videos in Microsoft Flight Simulator on how to input the waypoints into your flight management computer. So, first thing you want to do is create an account. When we've done that, head over to Dispatch and go to the Dispatch System. What you then want to do is create a new flight plan. And here is where you'll then be able to program all of your routing. The first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your flight information. So the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be doing a Finnair flight from London Heathrow to Helsinki. And so flying with Finnair, our airline is Alpha Yankee with flight number 1338. Our departure airport is Echo Golf Lima Limo, the ICAO code for Heathrow. The arrival, Echo Foxtrot Hotel Kilo the ICO code for Helsinki. What that will then do is start programming the rest of the information and with that we can then start customizing everything we need. Alternatives are automatically projected so we have Tarlin as an alternative. Our departure time will be say towards the evening at 6.30 p.m. which currently with GMT plus one it will be 5.30 Zulu. And our airframe will be an Airbus A320. If we scroll down to the advanced aircraft options, we can now customize the aircraft in the particular system that we have. In this case, our tail code will be Oscar Hotel Lima X-Ray Alpha. And our call sign is Finnair 1338. Now it comes to the optional trees, which is where you can select your routings, your departure runways, arrival runways. Although for the most part, you don't need to change this since this will be current from your active meta information. And so this you can leave automatic. Now you come up to the routing, and what you can do is use either one of the pre-selected routes available, which updates on the map down below, or you can plug in your own waypoints. So there's different selection of routes based on real-world flight plans. Find one that suits you. So I quite like this one since there's not too many waypoints to plug in, plus it gives you a nice direct route through Denmark, through Sweden, and straight to Helsinki. So we'll select that. One thing to keep an eye out for as well is the distance. So this is 1,064 nautical miles, which is plus 6.6% .6 of as the crow flies. If you went for a slightly more in-depth route with a bit more waypoints going on, this will now go up to 1073 with 7.5. And so what that does is tell you how much extra routing there is, as if you were then to fly as a crow flies. So if you go direct, it will be 7.5% shorter than that. So in this case, 6.6% adds a little bit extra routing, but not too much, and therefore I quite like that as an option. And so at that point, our routing has now been sorted out. You can change your units depending on what simulator you're using. So in the case of Microsoft Flight Sim, which I'll be injecting this into, I'll switch over to Pounds. And with that, we can now generate the operational flight plan. It'll just take a few seconds. So what we'll then do is drop you all the information you need. So this will have calculated the fuel amounts, your top of the set, your top of climb, your routing, the winds, everything you need for programming the FMS. So what you can then do is print or view the PDF. And this here is an operational flight plan based on the real world specification. So you've got your standard information, you've got your routing, you've got your uh, weights, you've then got your waypoints in more detail. And then at the bottom of the document, it will then start showing you different graphs and charts for your routing, which tells you again everything you need to know in terms of your directions, everything you need to know in terms of weather information, patterns, everything you need to know about winds. And so Simbrief gives you everything you know, top of climb, top of sense. It's a very useful tool and can be used across multiple different flight sims. And the layout is that of what the real world airlines will use for their own flights. If we go back to the main Simbrief page, then another thing that this tool allows you to do is download your routing for built-in flight planning. So you can use company routes on the selection of different aircraft and simulators. And likewise, if you're using VATSIM or IVEO, 
You can also use uh, SimBrief to pre-file your flight plan. So you've got VATSIM, IVAO, Pilot Edge, and POSCON, as well as other information as well. So that is how you use SimBrief to program your flights. Coming up shortly, there will be a set of three tutorials from Microsoft Flight Simulator in the 747, A320neo, and 787. And in that, I'll be showing you guys then how to plug in your waypoints and how to plug in the information for your routing. And so, do stay tuned for that. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please do leave a like and likewise do share it around as well. See if there's anybody else that can found benefits in this video. Otherwise, I thank you all very much for watching. You take care of yourselves and have a pleasant day. Take care and goodbye.